Good morning. Last week I asked you on Patreon what sort of topic you'd like to hear from me this week, and you guys chose The Unreliable Narrator. It's not a reveal, because you probably read the title. The Unreliable Narrator is a really fun story element to use, but first let's catch up on the basics. We're going to talk about the different kinds of narrative perspective, different kinds of unreliable narrators, and then we're going to look at some examples of the unreliable narrator in literature, just so we understand it a little bit better. Narrative perspective is the point of view of the narrator. The four main ones are first person, second person, third person, and third omniscient. First person is when the character is the narrator, so it uses the pronouns I and me. Second person is an odd one that isn't used that often in creative writing but if you've ever read like a choose your own adventure book that was probably in second person it uses a pronoun you because the reader is meant to be the character third person is when the narrator is separate from the character but it remains very close to them for their thoughts and their actions and their perspective it uses the pronouns he him she her and they them and it's separate but very, very close to them still. So all it knows is what that character knows. Third person omniscient is sometimes called the God narrator. It uses the same third person pronouns as regular third, but the God narrator knows everything in the universe. So it can enter into the minds of any character and know things that the main character does not know. So third and third omniscient both use the pronouns he, she, and they, but regular third is just that character's understanding. Omniscient third knows everything. So a type of narration is the unreliable narration, and that's when the character that's telling you the story can't necessarily be trusted. They're either a liar, or they're insane, or they're just misrepresenting the events for some reason. There are two types of unreliable narrator, the intentional and the unintentional. Obviously, intentional means that they're doing it on purpose, unintentional means that they don't even know that they're deceiving you. Some people say that it's impossible to have a story in first person perspective that is reliable, just because it's being filtered through that character's perspective and understanding. So to some extent, every first person narration is going to be unreliable. Some examples of unreliable narrators are Grace and Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, The Narrator in the Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, and The Narrator in the Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Grace, I think, is an intentionally deceitful narrator, but it's kind of left in a gray area. You also don't know right away if she is unreliable. It's hard to tell if she's lying, or if everyone else is lying, or if she's insane. I think that she's lying and insane. The Yellow Wallpaper is a short story. I'll link it in the description because it's really good, but it's a good example of an unreliable narrator because it's this woman who's slowly driven to madness. And this one it's very very clear that she's unreliable because you see that she's going insane but she is doing it unintentionally because she really believes the things that she's saying. In The Telltale Heart I think that the narrator is intentionally deceitful because he directly lies to the reader and to the other character throughout the entire piece and it's really clear that he's unstable. So in all these examples you can't trust that character's perspective but that makes the story more interesting because you have to figure out what actually happened and you have to figure out why they're lying or why they see the things that they see. Like in the yellow wallpaper, why is she imagining the things that she's imagining? The unreliable narrator is one of my favorite kinds of characters. It just makes everything much more interesting to read. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of the yellow wallpaper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for a new video every Thursday. My favorite comment of the week was from Anne Pster. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, Travis, Crystal, John, Andrew, Seth, my dad, and Jerry. You guys are the air in my lungs and the sunshine on my face. If you would like to support my content and get access to extra videos, writing prompts, and workshops, go to hannyheat.patreon slash com. Can I go back to bed? I would like you guys to know that I am not wearing the same shirt in every video. I just only own red clothes. If you would like to support me to get more clothes that aren't red, go to patreon.com slash hannyheat.